Whoa! Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... it's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. Yeah, My sword's all sticky! Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. What's wrong? Shh. There! It's huge! What is this thing? Quit gawking and get your sword ready. Be gone! Ha. Ready? Strike! Right. It's over! Ready? Strike! How's this? Be gone! Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can! Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends! Cut it! We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl before something worse finds her. Is that a monolith? Focus, guys! Be gone! How's this? Ready? Strike! dreams! Now! I pray we do not encounter a stronger foe.
managed to fend them off. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. What's this? Whoa! What the? I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back. <laughs> if you say so. Close, but it's still so far. Think we could jump? There's only one way to find out. Well, <laughs> okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connected point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. see. So that's the deal. Huh? Haven't figured it out? Y yeah, I have. Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here. Think it could support a person? Well, well. Aren't you sharp today? <laughs> For a change. Seems safe enough. Yeah. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you all right? I was... I was in a forest, and then... Looking for this?
Yep, she's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name. Uh, oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray? Yep. Nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? Saray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay. But too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. Ah, we made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. So, uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, it looks like someone's enjoying himself. This is my village, Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. Then the rumors were false after all. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Hey, everyone! Got someone to introduce to you. This is my family, living here at the Shrine. Is this, uh, some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. 
May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh, man. I sure hope Miklio's chat with Gramps went over well. And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. I reckon I'll have to. You idiots! Hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. Ah. Uh. I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes, all the while doing my best to protect this land. And for that, I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysium. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Hey. Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep, this is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd! <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? 
Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! I shall not. Hmm. <laughs> Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. Hmm. Enjoy yourself? I sure did. But it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. Uh, uh. Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Welcome in. Hey! Hmm? So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake. In the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record! The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait. Was? Well, it used to be. Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great, too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Mikliel. We ain't got time to mess around. Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about... So, Ray, Gramps only wants... Yeah, I know. Mikleo! Maybe later. Sure. Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> 